Dorothy Dale and welcome to my channel. This week I'm going to be doing a forest inspired makeup look but with a hint of fall within it. And it's the makeup look that I am currently wearing so if you want to learn how to do this makeup look then keep on watching. So I want to do a forest inspired makeup look but because it's autumn I want to pop a little bit of orange in there as well to kind of give a homage to the season, I guess. If you don't have any of these palettes, just use whatever color suits you or whatever color you find closest to it. I am going to be using three colors. I'm going to be using orange for a pop of color in the inner corners of my eye. I'm going to be using green for most of my lid. And then for the outer corner, I'm going to be using brown. So to symbolize the orange is to symbolize the season that we're in. The green is to symbolize the forest with the green leaves and the pine needles. The pine needles and for the brown to symbolize the trunks of the trees and... I obviously want to start with the inner corners of my eyes just because that is the lightest shade of color I will be using. So I can use the same brush for every single one. And I'm going to be using this brush by the way. It's just a flat brush. Nothing too special about it. And I'm going to be using... I don't want to use too bright of an orange. So I'm thinking of going with this one right here. This type of orange is a really, really soft pumpkin orange. While we're still on the orange, I want to put some on my lower lash as well. Just the same amount as I did up above so that it doesn't go further in than what it does on the top. Then what you want to do is wipe off the brush just because we are going to be using it again for the green. For green, I want to be using this color right here. I'm just going to take the same brush and then I'm going to take it for most of my lids towards the outer corners of my eyes. Now while you're at the green, just do the lower lashes as well. Just don't do the complete outer corner of your lash. Just do majority of the rest of your little lash except for the very outer corner because that's where we're going to be putting the brown. Thank you. 
Now the eyeshadow palette that I have been using for the orange and the green is the same one but it doesn't have a name so that's why I can't give you the name of the product that I'm using but it, it's drugstore so it's very affordable and it's this pigmented when it's drugstore so now I want to go over into another eyeshadow palette that I have and I do know the name of this one and it's the Makeup Revolution London's Constellation and it looks like this so the color I will be using is universal this color right here I am going to be using a round brush this time and it looks like this just so that I get that softer outer corner I always like a soft outer corner if you want a sharper one you can use the same flat brush as before or if you want to use that to put less product at a time if you are completely new that is perfectly fine can do that i just prefer to use the round brush so i'm just going to be using the universal one and popping that right in the other corner Now what I want to do is take my Essence eyeshadow blender brush, looks like this, and I want to blend this out. Now you can finish the look here by just putting on mascara and just leave it like this and keep it more natural. I on the other hand, I love a good eyeliner so I'm going to be putting on an eyeliner. And I am going to be using H&M's Deep Liner Ink and it looks like this.
now that the eyeliner is done, I am going to be curling my lashes. And then I'm going to be applying mascara to my upper and lower lashes and I'm going to be using Maybelline's The Colossal that looks like this. So the next thing we're going to be doing on our eyes is put eyeliner in our water lines and you can leave it as is if that's what you want but I want to have a little bit more intense black line on my upper water line and halfway on the outer corner of my lower line. I'm going to be using, it's a drugstore brand, uh, doesn't have a name on it but it looks like this. I don't know if you can tell exactly where I put it on the lower lash, but I didn't go past my pupil. I didn't. I just kept it right in the outer corner where I am have the whites of my eye in the outer corner. That's where I kept it until it meets the beginning of my iris. A little tip for you to get that waterline without it actually hurting or being uncomfortable. You may need to make sure that your iris and your pupil is looking another way than the area you are currently working on. So if I'm working on my outer corners, I can look straight ahead. But if I'm working on the upper part, I want to look either down to the side or up to the corner or look down. Just because when that's the hardest part, the middle part, to kind of get your iris and your pupil to kind of go away from that area while you are drawing on it because it's the iris that is the sensitive, most sensitive part. It's not your uh, the whites of your eyeball. I'm going to be putting some um, highlighter in the inner corner of my eyes. And because I went with orange, I want to be going in with gold and not silver so i'm going to be taking this really small small brush and i'm going to take this color right here and just pop a little bit of gold in the inner corner now i want to finish off by putting on some setting spray and i'm going to be using makeup revolution's sport fix and it looks like this one. Then I like to pat it in. So 
this is the finished look this is what it looks like so if you like the video please leave a like down below and if you have any questions leave a comment down below and if you like if you want more content like this then please hit the subscribe button and the notification bell and you will be notified when i upload my videos now my wednesday makeup vid videos they are always uploaded every wednesday at eight o'clock norwegian time which makes it about three o'clock new york time and I want to thank you so much for watching and I will catch you in the next one. Bye!